Welcome or welcome back, friends. This is a power yoga class slow style. So we're gonna be slowing it down, moving through some powerful postures, but spending our time in them and really tapping into our power. So this will be a feel good yoga class. Might get a little bit hot, but you're gonna leave your mat feeling amazing. So I'm Kate. I'm so happy to practice with you today. If you try this class and you like it, leave a little thumbs up, it helps me out a lot, and leave a comment, let me know how the experience was for you. And when you're ready, big breath in, nice long exhale, let's get started. All right, all right, friends. Let's go ahead and get started. Seated. And I'm gonna give you the option to start in toes pose. So you're on your knees, but your toes are folded under. It's got a really great stretch for the plantar fascia, which is the arches of the feet, the digital slips, which are the muscles of each of the toes. And of course your Achilles tendon, just really great for your foot health if that's available to you. If not, an easy seat is perfectly fine. Now, coming to rest on your mat, we're gonna release anything from our day so far. So no matter if you're doing this right in the morning or after work or maybe at night sometime, we're just gonna let some stuff go. So, First, any expectations of yourself. <sighs> Sigh it out, release. <sighs> Next, any titles that you have, maybe your job title or your role as a sister, a mother, a brother, husband. For right now, <sighs> release. Now come into your body, feel your physical self. Maybe do a quick body scan, see where you might be holding some tension, maybe in your forehead or your shoulders, your jaw, your abdomen. We're gonna take a big inhale and then breathing out from that spot of tension. We're gonna let it go. Let's have this be a really stripped down practice, humbling even, just you, your raw self, and the mat. No expectations, just sitting firmly in the seat of a student. So let's bring that intention in with your inhale and letting your expectations go with the exhale. <sighs> Easy and long now with the breath. Maybe you even feel a little bit lighter just after letting go any of the narratives in your mind. And if you're in toes pose and it's getting to be a lot, you can always pat them out and release your feet. But wherever you are, let's inhale our arms up, reach up, create space between your ribs and your hip bones. And then exhale your arms through cactus, elbows wide, pull the chest forward. And then clasp hands or elbows behind the back. Stretch them towards the ground, chase the earth with your hands and offer the chest skyward, a nice big chest stretch. Really breathe into the space between your collarbones, allow your body to open here. Be neutral with the face, release the forehead. See if you can scoop your heart center skyward just a little bit more. Maybe you even choose to release your neck back a little bit. Mm. 
Beautiful, slowly come up, roll the shoulders up towards the ears and exhale them down your spine. Three more, just like that. Inhale up, shoulders towards the ears, exhale down. Maybe even a little bit bigger circle now. Inhale up, exhale down. Last time, inhale up, exhale down, and leave them there. A moment of stillness. Then walk your hands forward through tabletop position. Walk your knees towards the back of the mat, and maybe you pat out your toes if you were in toes pose. Bring a little bit of circulation back into them. So bring your knees towards the back of the mat. Walk your hands towards the front of the mat. We're gonna come into a gentle melting heart here. So puppy pose. So feel today what your body might need in this stretch. Maybe you need arms as wide as the mat to get into the side of the arms and the side body. Maybe you reach them straight forward to get more into the pectoral muscles. Maybe you rest the forehand on the ground and feel really grounded and rooted into the earth today. Or maybe you flip your gaze upward, looking towards your hands. Release any expectation of what this pose might look like and tap into your body sense. How is your body communicating to you today? What's it saying? Are we ignoring messages? Or are we open to whatever our body has to tell us? Then maybe that means coming out of the pose or deepening. Two more breaths here. Nice. Slowly, slowly walk your hands back, walk your knees towards the center of the mat in a tabletop position. We're gonna warm up our wrists a little bit here, give them a little bit of love. So with fingers pointed forward, your, your pointer finger pointed towards the top of the mat, rock forward, a little bit more forward than normal, almost like an up dog. Then back and forward and back. One more time, forward and back. And take your hands out to the side. So your finger is pointed towards the side of the mat and then we're gonna rock from the right to the left and you might need to walk your knees out a little bit. And anytime you want to relieve uh, any of the tension in your wrists, you can claw into the mat. In fact, we can do that now. Press into the fingertips and see how that takes some of the pressure away from the wrist. It activates more of the hand, relying less on just the wrist alone. Point the fingertips back at you, and we're gonna lean back, booty towards the heels, maybe the palms peel up for three, for two, for one. And we'll do the reverse of that. So take the top of your hand and place them on the mat so your palms are facing up now. A little bit of a funky movement. And if this is a lot on your wrists, uh, bring your knees towards your wrists. That way there's not as much weight on them. And we'll rock back side to side. Beautiful. 
Now replant your wrists in a classic tabletop and we're gonna take some cat cows. You can take them traditionally. I'm going to cue you through side to side cat cows, but make this practice your own. Tap into your body, feel what you need today. There are no wrong answers. So neutral spine here. Then exhale, shift your hips to the left and look to the right. It's really exaggerated. Nice side body stretch through the left side body. Inhale through center, exhale, hips go to the right, look to the left, look all the way towards your toes. Then switch it out, your inhale brings you through center, your exhale shifts your hips to the left. Inhale through center, exhale to the right. Now take a few breaths, taking whatever you need. Maybe that's more side side. Maybe switch it up. A new traditional cat cow, pulling your heart center between your arms and rounding into cats. For three. for two, for one. Claw into the hands, tuck the back toes, send the hips back down almost onto the heels, then lift your hips skyward, straightening through the legs, but they don't need to be straight. Downward dog. So really press through the fingertips, the palms. Walk out your downward dog. Find more space in this position. See if you can press your hips skyward while bringing your navel in. So the corset of your core is wrapping towards the center. Locked with the hands, locked with the feet. So hasta bandha, para bandha. And just settle in here. You can settle in with stillness or with movement but stay. Beautiful. Look up between your hands. On your exhale and with straight legs, take many steps to the top. Make it slow, make it soft and loving. So you can, if you can really feel the Achilles tendon, your calves, your hamstrings stretch. And when you get there, a little ragdoll fold and walk it out on the spot. Really bring your knees to your navel. And then plant both feet really firmly. Send your weight into the heel of your foot and roll all the way up really slowly. Inhale, both arms overhead. Create space between the ribs. Reaching up energy through the fingertips. And exhale, prayer hands to heart center. One breath in, one breath out. Inhale, both arms up, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to a half lift, long spine hands can be on the calves or the ground and exhale step the right foot back back knee meets mat start off in 90 90 with the knees and on your exhale sink the hips forward and in your next inhale breathes your arms skyward 
So you're rooted through the feet, heavy in the hips, and there's energy coming through your arms, reaching up. Exhale through cactus. On your inhale, reach the arms forward, scoop the energy up, bring it overhead. Two more like that. Exhale through cactus. Inhale, scoop the energy up, reach forward, overhead. Exhale through cactus, open through the heart. And inhale, rise your arms. Exhale, plant both hands on the mat, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, send your weight onto your left foot and float the back foot up. Hands on the ground, supported warrior three. So square off the hips here. You can start with a bent left leg and a flexed back foot. Navel towards your spine for core activation and find your drishti, that focus point with your eyes. Maybe you float one hand. Maybe you switch it out, float the other hand. Maybe both. And both hands plant. Sweetly step your foot back. Arms rise into crescent pose. Strong in your crescent, but stay low. Your inhale reaches your arms higher. Your exhale takes your right arm down and opens you to the right. Crescent twist. Reach both arms towards either side of the room. Raise your back knee up towards the sky. Activate through the glutes, through that leg. Your heel is reaching back. Inhale both arms up. And we're gonna switch it out. Exhale, left hand comes down past the thigh, opens up towards the left side of the room. Different sensation. Reach your arms towards either side of the room. Be easy with the face. Tap into your breath again. Inhale, both arms up, stay. And on your exhale, straighten both legs. Bend into the right leg for a lunge, a side lunge, skandasana on the right. So keep your right heel down, your left heels on the mat with your left toes pointed towards the sky for activation. And switch it over to the left side, left side lunge. And play around here your postures or your sequence doesn't have to look like mine. I'm just a guide. Tap into your body and make this what you need today. That's the truest form of yoga. Go back to the right. So maybe you find movement here, pulses, or maybe you find a twist. And move to the left. Really opening through the hips here. And then bring your chest facing forward. Come into a forward lunge. Step the left foot back to meet the right foot. And lower down through your chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale. Brings you to an up dog or cobra. And downward dog. Hold it here. Breathe into your dog. Breathe your core in towards your spine. Press into your hands. See if you can ground down through your heels. And then try to keep straight legs here and we'll walk to the top of our mat. 
Nice and slow, kiss the mat with each step. And when we get there, fold it in. Maybe you feel a little bit more freedom in your hips, a little bit more freedom to move and play in this forward fold. Ah, place your weight in your heels, energetically shift it. And on your inhale, slowly rise all the way to standing. Breathe the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. One breath in. And out. Inhale the arms up. Reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, long neck, shoulders down the back. Exhale, step the left foot back in space. Knee meets the mat. Come to 90-90 with the knees. And on your next exhale, sink the hips forward and down. On your inhale, breathe the arms skyward, energy coming through your fingertips, creating space between your hip bones and your ribs lifting up. Exhale your arms through cactus, offer your heart skyward. Inhale your arms, breathe forward and up. Exhale through cactus. Inhale your arms come forward and up. One more time, exhale through cactus, maybe you open a little wider here. And inhale your arms forward and up. Stay for one inhale. Then exhale, both hands meet the mat. Tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, shift your weight fully into your right foot and float the back foot off. Both hands on the floor supported, warrior three. Square the hips, find your dristi with the eyes, pull the navel in towards the spine. It's always an option to start with a bent knee and warrior, find your stability, then straighten. Maybe you float one hand Maybe you alternate and float the other. Maybe you really engage the core and the glutes and you float both. Then slowly, slowly touch back down. Inhale, both arms skyward, crescent pose, back knee up, back heel popped. Sinking low in your crescent, reach the arms skyward. And on your exhale, left hand reaches down, opens for a twist. Reach the arms towards either side. Inhale through center. Exhale, right hand comes down, twist to the right. Strong with the legs. You've got this. Inhale, both hands up. And on your exhale, straighten through both legs. Turn towards the long side of the mat and bend into your left leg. So side lunge on the left. Left heel is down, right leg is straight with the right toes pointed up, Skandasana. Breathe over to the other side. Whew. 
Maybe you're feeling a little more open than you did when we visited this pose on the other side. Let's switch it out back to the left side. Maybe your breath comes easier. Maybe your face gets a little softer. Maybe you can self-soothe nervous system down. Maybe you can find a little bit more kindness in this posture. Swivel back over to the right side. And then bring both hands to frame your front foot. Your chest swivels into the front of the mat so we're in this lunge pose. Step your right foot back to meet your left foot. Knees on or off the mat. You can lower all the way down or just into your chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or up dog. And exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Take a few breaths here. An option to stay in this downward dog or walk your feet as wide as the mat and walk the hands together. Take the right hand, reach towards your left ankle or calf. For a downward dog twist, look up under your arm fold. On your inhale, switch it out. And on your exhale, twist. Beautiful. Walk the feet back into a traditional downward dog, hips distance apart if they are not. And one big step up to the top of the mat, one foot, the other. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale, fold it in. Weight in your heels, rise slowly. Breathe the arms up. Exhale to heart center prayer pose. Big inhale. Long exhale. Inhale the arms up and exhale forward fold. <sighs> Inhale to a half lift, long spine, long neck. Step the left foot, excuse me, the right foot back in space. Plant the right hand. Left hand reaches up, dragonfly twist. So press down with the feet, reach up with the arms. Maybe you come to fingertips and make it a little bit more active in the legs. Really spiral your chest open here. Beautiful, plant the left hand. The back heel swivels down, so warrior two stance. Right arm circles up and over, extended side lunge. So we're, arm is by our ear. Active hands here, one long line of energy from our right toes all the way through our right fingertips. Spiral the chest open a little more, look under your arm, up towards the sky. And on your next inhale, warrior two, breathe it up. Strong warriors. You know this posture, so bend deep into your front leg, powerful, grounded. Core is on, glutes are on. You are unflappable here. Bring your energy towards your core. We're gonna swivel our hips towards the front of the mat coming into crescent. So swivel the hips back, heel pops. Keep the balance or try to. On your exhale, lean forward, your arms come behind you. Weights in your front left foot. We're gonna float into warrior three. Nice and sweetly. Your hands can come down to blocks or supported. 
navel in, keep it strong. Try to square off your hips towards the floor, flex the back foot for support, for activation. And then slowly, slowly touch down back into crescent. And exhale, both hands meet the mat. Step the left foot back and take your flow. However that looks today. Maybe that's straight to downward dog. Maybe you add a push up. This is your flow. You get to add on or subtract anything that you like. One big step up with the other foot now. And if you're not sure which one that is, just take your non-dominant foot that you don't normally use. Big step up. Then the other foot to the top of the mat. Inhale to a half lift, long spine, shoulders down the back. Exhale, fold it in, nice self hug here. Place the weight in the heels. Long inhale, roll up slowly. Float the arms up, prayer hands, exhaled, heart center. A single breath in and breath out. Inhale the arms up, exhale forward fold. Inhale to that half lift, and on your exhale, step the left foot back. Plant the left hand, right hand peels open, dragonfly twist. Press into both feet, spiral the chest open, reach with your right arm up. Maybe you come to fingertips, a little bit more activation. Exhale, right hand plant, swivel the back heel down, so warrior two feet. Inhale, the left arm up and over, draw a big circle, and your arm ends up by your ear. One long line of energy from your toes all the way out your fingertips. Press into your feet, engage the core, inhale, warrior two. You know this pose, so sink in, balanced weight evenly between your front and back foot, reach with both arms, single focus over your front fingertips, neutral face, strong warriors. Maybe sink a little bit deeper on this next exhale. We're gonna switch into crescent, so gain, get your balance, press into the feet, engage the core, swivel your hips forward, back heel pops, both arms rise. On your exhale, lean forward, both hands come back, put your weight into your right foot, and float into warrior three. Hands can be on blocks or the ground. Navel in, back foot flexed for activation. If you're hitting your edge, that's fine. Hug it, embrace it, and getting to know it will allow you to move past it as we slowly touch down back into crescent, arms rise. And exhale, both hands meet mat, step the right foot back to meet the left foot, last flow. So exhale into anything you want, or cobra or up dog. And we'll meet in down dog.
Step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. The left foot to the outside of the left hand. Toes off the mat, heels on. Sink the hips down. Malasana yogi squat. So long spine here. And you can find movement to make this comfortable or to play around and make more space here. So maybe you take a twist. Maybe you go to the other side. And maybe you reach forward or reach up. And you can stay here or you can walk the feet in and come into crow pose. So finding your knees onto your arms and finding your arm balance. Maybe you bring your feet a little bit higher today or straighten your arms a little bit more. Maybe you tip forward with control and find a tripod headstand or maybe you come back to yogi squat we're gonna have five breaths here however you would like to take them beautiful we'll meet in malasana can I come out of yogi squat just a bit walking the feet a little bit closer together we're going to reach our right arm back to the middle of the mat about with our fingers placing forward. Walk our left hand back and we're going to take reverse tabletop. So press the hips up, lift through the shoulders. And then lower the hips. And you can take your fingertips out to the side. Lift them up again, and we're going to bring our left hand overhead. So maybe that allows a little bit more space for your hips to rise. Exhale, lower. We're going to switch it out. Left hand plants fingers towards the long edge of the mat. Inhale, hips rise. Right arm overhead. Exhale, lower. You have two options for this next one. You can take a regular reverse tabletop as we have been, or you can transfer this into a full wheel. So plant your hand, and if you're going into wheel, plant your right hand or your left hand. Breathe the hips up. Your free hand reaches up and over and maybe you find the mats. Hold this one for three, for two, for one, and slowly come down with control. Sit for just a moment. One big breath in and a breath out, recalibrate, and then we'll slowly come down to our backs. <sighs> Coming into happy baby. So grabbing peace fingers to big toes or hands to the outside arches of your foot <sighs> and find stillness or movement here, whatever it is that you need. And wherever you are, try to make sure that the full of your spine is on the back. So you might need to articulate your hips down or your shoulders up to really make contact with the mat. And wherever you are, maybe you extend both legs and really open up through the hamstrings and the groin muscles. 
And again, just sitting firmly in the place of a student, not having expectations for what this looks like, just tapping into how your body feels and the mobility of your body and the depth of your breath. Take both legs skyward. You have an option to come right into Shavasana or take a shoulder stand into plow. So if you decide to come into shoulder stands, you can engage the course, come slowly up, point the feet for leg activation, core is in and activated. And try to get your hips over your shoulders if you feel very comfortable in shoulder stand, you can release your legs slowly overhead into plow. You can take a wide-legged plow. You can stay here or you can slowly come out back into a shoulder stand and then lowering vertebrae by vertebrae release your right leg release your left leg take up space let your arms be open maybe you walk your shoulders up a little bit on your mat to elongate your spine and if you do that then make sure you walk your head up too to elongate the neck close down the eyes relax the forehead release the space between the eyebrows relax the muscles around your eye the jaw release the muscles in the throat the chest the biceps the forearms let the hands be heavy relax the abdomen and your hips Release the thighs, the knee, the calf. Let the ankles fall open. Shavasana, take rest. I will cue you out of it. So know that you are just fine to take deep rest.
gently start to tap fingertips to fingertips wiggle your toes roll out the wrists roll out the ankles you can open and close your mouth bring some activation to that area and then inhale and stretch long like a cat your arms overhead your legs reaching and then curl over onto your favorite side use your forearms as a pillow knees up towards your chest and don't move fast here. Allow your body to recalibrate from the class and the rest. And slowly come up to a seat. Keep the eyes gently closed. See if you can even soften the space between the eyelids. Bring prayer hands to your third eye, the space between your eyebrows. Have gratitude for your thoughts. Bring your prayer hands to your lips. Gratitude for your words. And bring your prayer hands to your heart center. Press your thumbs in, feel your heartbeat. Have gratitude for your heart and your health. Namaste, sweet friends. I hope you feel amazing and relaxed and powerful. If you liked this class, please like it. Leave a comment that helps me out a lot. Also, helps the community to be more interactive and that's always what we want is a thriving, engaging yoga community. But there's also more power yoga classes and slower yoga flows in the description below. So I hope to see you on the mat in the future, and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day.